Hello and welcome back and welcome to the ultimate FPS guide for Rainbow Six Siege. This is of course everything I've compiled and it has taken me a great deal of time. If you guys appreciate this, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed. So hey, go ahead and do that. I will be doing this for other games as well. I've noticed that I have really just stuck to Rainbow Six Siege, but I like to do some other things with other games. Still Rainbow Six Siege is my main cup of tea, but we're going to get right into this. I'm going to show you guys settings, not only settings though. I've done a graphic setting video uh, about about nine months ago and that video did pretty well but I want to do more just settings we're gonna start with that of course we're gonna go over the differences between the two different games and which one you should pick for your computer and then just some Windows things that you guys could tweak to improve your FPS in any game actually so we're gonna hop right into it but just so you guys know I do run a AMD system I'm not in Nvidia but I will be showing you guys some things on both sides so we're gonna start off comparing the first two you guys might not even know about this but whenever you launch the game via Steam, you're going to have two options. You're going to have Vulcan and Normal. A lot of people don't even know about this, but this is one of those things that you can instantly do and improve your frames by a lot more than any other thing that we talk about even in this video. So originally Rainbow Six Siege had the only the Normal and that runs off the DirectX 11 and that is the current API. However, they did add Vulcan and in most situations, you guys need to test this for yourselves, but it is going to improve how smooth the game is and definitely improve your frames. I for one can say that it improves my frames quite drastically. Basically, I've been showing you the before and afters with Direct 11 and compare that to Vulkan. So it's just newer. It's meant for newer and uh, newer PCs. And it provides a lot of different other advantages besides just performance. It also is going to put less strain on your PC in general. So that's something you need to test for yourself. If you are like me and have an AMD system, it definitely worked for me. But I've heard some people say it doesn't work. It makes the game choppy. If that's the case, then we're going to move on to the game settings because that is probably the second most important thing whenever it comes comes down to Rainbow Six Siege settings. Before we go into the graphics settings, we're gonna hit the display settings. So the only thing you really need to take away from this is gonna be real quick is you're going to be wanting to max out your resolution for the most part for most people. If you have a very, very low NPC, the lowest I would go is 1600 by 900. It doesn't look too bad. It's going to raise your frames a lot, but personally, I would rather get lower frames for the sake of my eyeballs. Other than that though, refresh rate, as high as you can go, is where you want it. The higher, the better, basically. 144 is okay. Obviously, you can get better 240. Uh, they're coming out with 360 monitors here in the next year, but these shouldn't really affect your frames too much. You just don't want to cap yourself out. I've said this in the last one. I was running 60 hertz on a 144 hertz monitor for a minute because I never even looked at the setting. I felt like an absolute idiot when I did that. So, you know, some people memed me for that, but some people were like, oh, uh, I did the same thing. So that's cool. Also, V-Sync, turn that off. Uh, widescreen letterbox off and aspect ratio that's all your preference aspect ratio basically just means the more down you go this way is the more stretch you are going to have your screen this is native 16 by 9 is native and you go down and it is going to stretch your screen screen now for me i make content so i want the game to look good so i just go 5 3 90 fov and that's good for me but this shouldn't really help FPS per se. This is more just personal preference and how good you play. A lot of pros play on the 4.3 to 5.4 range. So just keep that in mind if you're going for maximum performance. All right, guys. So we're into the graphics menu here. So I'm going to show you guys two different ones. I have one where I'm really sweaty. And then the other one it are the settings that I use whenever I'm making videos. So I want them to look as good as possible, right? Without hindering my performance too much. So on my competitive sweatiness or when I'm just acting more serious, this account, I'm usually not acting more serious. That's why it's only a uh, plat three. But but this is the one I like to rock with. I have a video, a full video on the graphics setting explaining them entirely, but I'm more so just gonna kind of go over this, skim over this real quick. So texture quality low. This is, by the way, this is the one where I'm max competitive, trying to max out my frames while still having the competitive advantage here. So texture quality low, texture filtering, linear, all basically everything low except LOD and shadow. So shadow is going to have to be on medium. I'm sure you guys have heard this before if you've uh, watched any video at all. If they have not included this in the video, never listen to them. So shadow quality, if it is low, you are not gonna be getting dynamic shadows or any shadows at all really for that matter with operators. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone's shadow, right? And gotten a kill off of that. So if that has ever happened to you, then you should keep it on medium. Now, anything over medium is just kind of a waste of space, really. At some point, it just gets ridiculous. Like very high, you're gonna have actual chiseled shadows. You don't need that really for competitive. You just need to be able to see the shadow in general. So I just 
just keep that one on medium, that baby on medium, and it is, uh, that's really all you need to know about that. And then LOD quality, that one is at very high. Now, I've juggled around with ultra to very high, and I've noticed that these two are the same when it comes down to it. This is good for visibility of other operators, so I would highly recommend doing this one. If you are really, really pushing frames, though, if your computer's just absolutely struggling, just bring that to low. So basically, all low, really, whenever you're talking settings for Rainbow Six Siege, but then we go down a little bit. These are all need to be off and then as for anti-aliasing that for the most part should be off for most people however with my system off just does not work as well and i actually get lower frames than if i'm on fxaa if i'm on fxaa it feels smoother it looks better in my opinion and i don't have those jaggedy lines some people like the jaggedy lines but for me i've always preached this fxaa works for me some people are gonna say ah no it's made for older hardware and yada yada, yada. that might be true for some but for me it works fine and my hardware is pretty new so try it out for yourself either off or FXAA. You could try out TAA if your computer is really struggling because you can turn down the render scaling. Now, I wouldn't entirely recommend that, but for struggling computers, do TAA. That is going to maximize your FPS. You can adjust the render scaling however you like. Now, obviously, if you have it down here, this is going to be a pixelated mess, so you're going to want to keep it up here if you do, and then adjust the sharpness as you wish. For me, though, FXAA, try it out if you're on AMD. I've known that NVIDIA works better with TAA, just so you guys know. Other than that, though, all off, low, and basically, that's all. As for when I'm making content, the only thing I'm going to change is stuff that doesn't tr uh, affect your frames too much. So a few of those things, texture quality, I will be moving that all the way to very high. It really doesn't affect it too bad, right? Like, so texture quality, all it is is obviously texture quality and it does not affect your frames as much as you would think it does so this is something that i adjust up i actually usually run it at high but if i was just trying to maximize my looks and the fps very high is definitely the move the second thing i do i go to 16x other than that though i bring this to ultra and then everything else remains the same some of these things that i'm showing you here these do not help you in any way even if it's up it actually is going to hinder you the things that it reflects off of right some of these reflections are actually going to hurt you so you're going to want to turn that off if so you can some of these things really affect the lighting in the game so just trust me on this one it is just a little skim through of my settings um so those are the two different settings that you guys could rock with one for performance one for i guess look good and performance so those are your two options there test it try it um test out what works for you of course as always don't just copy but definitely keep in mind this works for me and it works for basically anyone that I show this to, okay? So now moving on over to the Windows settings. This is something that can help you in literally any game. So go ahead and do this if you're with me here. So we're going to first go over the Windows settings and uh, you could do AMD, NVIDIA settings. We're going to go over all that. So first thing you're going to want to do is just go over here and check for updates. You got to make sure that your Windows is up to date. If you're not, you're going to see random lag spikes and all sorts of things. And it's just no bueno to not update your Windows. So update your Windows, especially if you are looking for performance. You're just hindering your performance if you don't do this. So click update, go down here, download and install, do that, reset your computer, and that should be good to go. You're going to want to do the same thing with Radeon and nvidia control panel whichever one you have you can see that just by right clicking and clicking here and then you can update it inside of whichever one you have In my case we have amd as i said before so now we should have the game uh, at least launched at this point so go right click hit task manager once you're at the task manager i'm going to drag this over here you should go down and find rainbow six siege once you have that go down into open file location and at this point you're going to have vulcan and rainbow six siege both of these are your applications so you're going to want to go properties compatibility disable full screen optimizations and go down here and hit override high dpi scaling behavior you want to do that for both this is just optimization it helps your frame rates i've seen this i started doing this actually in fortnite and then i brought it over to this game and it added to my frames here now this was a long time ago but it still does work to this day you're going to want to do this to both though because i don't know which one you're rocking with but just do it to vulcan and to the normal one same thing we go vulcan right click compatibility we want to disable full screen optimization we want to override that and then we go apply and that is the first thing we need to do and that should help give you some performance so up to date windows and do these little optimizations that i showed you do this with any game that you have but especially for rainbow six siege here since that's the main topic of this video next up guys this is another simple one that you want to do with any game graphic settings you want to go down here you want to find browse you want to find rainbow six siege you can simply just search rainbow six siege in your thing i just hit rain b and then it showed up and then i just went there and hit that that added that one and then i'm also going to add vulcan just whichever one you're using that's what you're going to want to use so i'm going to hit here and we added rainbow six already so we're going to add the vulcan once you do that go options and then you're going to want to hit high performance save options 
high performance save. At this point, we're just optimizing. Remember that, that we already did the things that's really going to boost our frames, but we're just optimizing it to maximize our frames to the fullest potential. So these two things are minor things. And once we've done that, we've done everything we need to do in the Windows settings. We don't want to overclock. We're not trying to do any of that. This is just basis of Rainbow Six Siege. If you guys want to learn how to overclock, push your computer to the max level, go ahead and find that. Uh, I personally would not recommend you doing that because you could potentially screw up your PC and be in for a quite disappointing day whenever some of your hardware gives out. So this is what I'm comfortable doing. This is what I do. And then I run it on Vulkan servers. Now, the last thing I got for you guys is you're going to want to go into whatever you have. I have the Radeon software. It's going to look similar in both. It's just going to be set up differently. But realistically, all you're going to have to do is just find wherever the graphics settings are on whichever thing it is. So you're going to want to go in the gaming tab and you will see something like this if you are on AMD or you'll see something else, which is very similar on NVIDIA. I'll show a screenshot here of that. So basically anything you can do to reduce input lag is what you're going to want to do. So anti-lag, you're going to want to turn that on on uh, NVIDIA or AMD. You're not going to want to turn on chill. This is going to limit your FPS. Now you can do this if you have a very low end PC that likes to explode of uh, too much heat. But for most people that are running on even like a low to medium end PC, you should be okay. Next up, image sharpening. You're going to have this on. I set this to 30%. Now, I don't like it looking too sharp. You could set it to whatever you like, but 30% for me looks great. And then we can go down here into the advanced tab. Now, NVIDIA has all of these things as well. So the only thing that I really change here is texture, filter, and quality. I turn that on performance. I want everything on performance. The same thing with surface format optimization. I have that enabled. That actually allows this to override the game settings and improve performance. Other than that, I have an AMD Optimize on Tessellation, and that is really all I mess with when it comes down to the Rainbow Six Siege, or any game here for that matter, whenever we're talking about the Radeon settings. This shouldn't make too big of a difference, it just is uh, definitely good for your eyes, especially if you want to change custom colors, raise the saturation, anything along that line. That is not going to help you with your frame rate, but thought I'd mention that as well. And that is your Rainbow Six Siege optimization for 2021. Hopefully this remains the same. If it doesn't, I will update you guys, of course. And if you appreciate this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That's going to do it for this one, though. Let me know down below what your frames were before and what they are now. They definitely should have improved. Thank you so much for watching. I hand selected these two videos for you. If you guys want to watch any of them, I would highly appreciate it. If not, have a great day on YouTube and I'll see you guys in the next video you watch from me. Peace out.